These are the oxygen absorbers from Distribution Services. They come in quite a large bag. There are 100 each. And the part number on here is, well, there's a 300 MBC. I can only assume that's going to be 300 uh, cc's. Uh, made by a company called Ageless. And these are made in Thailand. So these are not made in China. So we're going to pull one out and we're going to do our oxygen test to see how many cc's these will pull up. Nice tight package which is a really good sign. So we're just going to take this and open this up and we're going to take one out and we're going to check it out. It feels very soft. It's not as big, it's not as small as my other oxygen absorbers. It's kind of halfway in between. But we have our jar here. And we're going to go ahead, stick it inside. And we have marked distribution services on here. And we're going to go ahead and start the test. And we're going to note the time is 8 o'clock p.m. And so we'll see how that does. And over here we have the control. An hours in, this is the first dump. We are at 21 hours into the test on the oxygen absorber from distribution services. We're going to go ahead and dump this and go on to the third. We are 34 hours into this and this is going to be the third dump. And that makes a total of 600 cc. So this has doubled its rated capacity. We're 40 hours into our test and this is the fourth dump that would make 800 cc. So I think we're getting pretty close to the end but we'll give it another uh, 12 hours and see what happens. Well, this oxygen absorber keeps on going and going and going. It's almost like the Energizer Bunny. So we're going to, this is going to be the fifth dump. So we're looking at almost 1,000 cc's. We are at 51 hours, and this absorber is still going strong. So we're at 1,200 cc's so far. I was going to call this experiment yesterday, but it kept on absorbing. And so after 98 hours, it finally stopped just about a gnat's whisker from the 200 cc mark. So I went ahead and marked it, and we're going to go ahead and dump it, and then calculate all the time and all the cc's that this absorbed. This without even seeing the results, is by far the best oxygen absorber I've seen. And I think you're going to be amazed with the amount that this little guy down in here absorbed. So anyway, I will do the calculations and please, no wagering. It is dissecting time. So this is the oxygen absorber from the distribution center with from the Church of Jesus Christ and we're going to go ahead and send it through the paces. First of all we're going to see what the weight's going to be here. So 
altogether we have an 8 gram packet. Now this is absolutely different. This is a whole kind of color here. It's going to be really interesting to see what this turns out to be. So their secondary ingredients are almost brown in comparison to the iron powder. And we'll, get, we'll review the SDS sheet in a moment. Let's get all this out. And we're still at 7 grams. That means the packet itself is 1 gram. Looks like the secondary ingredients are 2 grams, but we're going to do this one more time. I can still see a few flakes in there, but not enough to change the weight. So the iron powder in this one is going to be 5 grams. So if each gram can absorb 300 cc's, this gives us potential, and once again I have to say it's potential, 3 times 5 is 1500, 1500 cubic centimeters. Now this is kind of bouncing between 4 and 5, but we're just going to go with 5 because that's going to give that the benefit of a doubt. So if we take the secondary ingredients over on that side and we get the iron powder over on that side and the package, that should take us back to 8 grams, which it does. So here's the contents of our oxygen absorber and this is the MSDS, I should say SDS. Now as soon as I saw Mitsubishi Gas Chemical America. That tells me that this is going to be a good product. I've done some research on Mitsubishi and they make an excellent oxygen absorber and so far from the tests I've done this absorber is a very high quality absorber. Now you can look this up if you'd like but I found a couple of interesting things on page 3 and page 3 is the page that you really want to look at. In section 3, this is the composition of what's inside the oxygen absorber, and we'll go a little bit closer in this in just a moment. But what I found interesting is, of course, it has the iron, and it says 35 to 70 percent iron, but it does not have any charcoal or carbon, and usually that is used as a catalyst to help the uh, reaction of oxidization. But what they have here instead of carbon or uh, charcoal they have zeolite a catalyst and so and that's probably why the secondary ingredient over here instead of being dark is kind of a tan color but they have a whole different chemical compound in their oxygen absorbers and they work very well the first thing you'll notice about these bags from the distribution center is they're almost square. They're not rectangular like a lot of one gallon bags. Most one gallon bags are 14 by 10 which gives you a surface area of 140 inches. These bags are 11 and 3 quarters wide and 13 long and so they actually they're actually a little bit larger. These will give you 152 square inches. And another thing that's interesting about these, it's not a bad thing, but there's no tear strips on here. Like our, like on most other uh, bags, you have the little notch here and here that you can tear it across the top. They do have a manufactured e edge on this side and on this side. There's not a manufactured edge down here on the bottom. It's just folded over and then fused on the sides. And so basically just opened up here. So that's something that's different. It's not a bad different. It's just different. So we're going to go ahead and measure the thickness of this bag and see what it comes to. 
Now one other thing about this bag, it does not claim to be a Mylar bag. They just call this a food storage bag, so most likely this is just a polyester material. And you would have to remember that Mylar is a polyester material, but polyester is not Mylar. So we're going to take a look at this and we're going to get out the little gadget here. And we're going to take a whole bunch of readings to see what the thickness is of this bag. We're going to test the thickness of this uh, bag now. According to the website, they're uh, classifying this bag as 7 mils. Everything's been calibrated and we'll see what happens here. I did 32 readings. It comes up as an average of 6.4. Uh, plus or minus 10% is allowable. So at 6.4 plus or minus 10% that comes out to just up to just barely to 7. So this is uh, a 7 mil bag, barely a 7 mil bag. Uh, the only reason it's a 7 mil bag is it falls within the 10% tolerance of ASTM. So anyway, uh, the bag is good and we'll continue on with our testing. So this little teeny oxygen absorber is rated to absorb 300 cc's. Well, that's pretty good, okay? Well, it did that plus a whole lot more. So, this little oxygen absorber that was that I got from distribution services through the Church of Jesus Christ actually did that much more. It absorbed four and a half times its rated capacity, and I think that's the best I've ever seen an oxygen absorber perform. So these little guys are made in Thailand and, and manufactured either by or for Mitsubishi Gas America is the best oxygen absorber I've seen. And the price is pretty decent. Uh, we'll go into their website and we'll find out the prices. They sell them uh, per 100 pack and they really performed rather well. So it, it took a total of 90, 98 hours to absorb 1,358 cc's of oxygen. And if I got this right, one, two, three, four, five, six, I had to do seven dumps to get that amount. That is really, really good. And if I fill this absorber now, after it's spent, I mean, there's like chunks of gravel. I mean, this is like, just feels like gravel. Nowhere near does it feel like flour or even sand. I can fill, well, let's cut this open and we'll take a look inside. So you can kind of see these big huge chunks of iron are now all fused. Got some of the secondary ingredients still in there. So inside of these chunks is 1,358 cc's of oxidized ox ox oxygen in these big chunks here. So anyway this has been one of my better oxygen absorbers and uh, we'll go, go into their website and they have they just don't have uh, oxygen absorbers in bags but they have all kinds of food that is also available. So here's a nice side-by-side -side comparison between a spent oxygen absorber and a new one. So you can see this iron powder is nice and smooth, but yet this stuff over here is like gravel and sand. And that's why I've said that a good oxygen absorber needs to feel like flour. The distribution center's website or distribution services website is kind of a difficult one to get to, but all you need to do is in the search bar is go ahead and 
put in distribution, ser distribution services, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and we hit enter, and it comes up United States Store, Church of Jesus Christ, and we can go ahead and click that on, and it takes us to the uh, online store. Now you can go ahead and search for things here, but you'll need, if you're not, if you don't have an account, you'll have to register an account. But for example, if you just put in storage, storage, and hit search, it will take you to all kinds of places right here that we'll get going to in just a second. But I'm gonna show you the, the steps to actually get an, an, uh, an account with uh, online services or the on, on, online store with the Church of Jesus Christ. And these are the steps right here. So we're gonna go up here, this is my store account, and we're gonna go ahead and click this and hit sign in. Of course, this comes up blank and right down here it says register. So we're gonna click that. This is a sign on screen for the online store for distribution services for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's kind of a mouthful. It's kind of hard to find. Well, if you don't have a sign in, then you can come right over here to register. So we're gonna go ahead and register an account. I'm gonna register an account for me. Uh, they wanna know where we live because this is a worldwide distribution network. You need to put in where you are. Okay, so we're gonna come up here. So this is something I will remember, okay? So fill at 4,800 feet and I'll have come down here. So I put in my user's name, which is something I'll remember. And I gotta uh, create a password, re-enter the password, and we're going to hit next. The next screen is this screen right here. So if you are a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I guess there's some information you can put in here, but right down here is what we want to check. I am not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We're going to check that. We hit next. Okay, then we have contact information, first name, last name, uh, age range. Okay, so we want to know 18 and over, probably make sure you're not uh, a minor email phone numbers and an I agree statement so it looks like it's all pretty legit so I'm going to go ahead and fill out this information and we'll go to the next step so I put all my information in and I got and this is the next screen that says your registration is almost complete and so they're going to send me an email not an email but a, a code to my phone and that is Four nine zero four oh four, and we're going to verify and my registration is complete so I'm now in so I can go ahead and sign in so I got my password in here now and we're going to verify and see where this takes us okay so we are there and okay let's see now I've been in this website once before and it's not the most easiest one to navigate. So, okay, we're out over here. We want to press the search bar. Now, from playing around with this, the easiest thing to do is to put in the keyword storage. Okay, and, it, uh, and it'll self-populate a whole bunch of stuff. But let's hit search and see if this still works. Find home storage, food storage, food storage, United States. Okay, so this is a page I found once before. If there's no prices here, that means it's out of stock. So apple slices are out of stock, but they got carrots, onions, potato flakes. They got beans, beans, more beans. Uh, Looks like uh, some, they, some things do not have a picture rolled oats. Spaghetti bites, macaroni, and they got dried milk, and they also have some sealers. Now, the only problem with these sealers is, unfortunately, this is the image is not available, so you really don't know what you're getting. There's a description down here, but it's hard to know exactly what it is. But let's see, we're looking for okay, right, right here, food store, food storage foil pouches. So if you click this. 
this will take you to those pouches. They're kind of a, they're a seven mil, and they just say a foil pouch. They do not say mylar, they don't say polyester. Most likely it's polyester, but they do not claim to be mylar. And in this case, you can order as many as you want. If you want 21, 78, 33, you just put in your number right here. And you might want to remember this number right here. If you've ever come back into this site, that is the actual item number. And it might be a little bit simpler by putting the item number in and see if we can find the oxygen absorbers. Let's see. Let's go back to the top because they said this is 20 items out of 24. Let's go down here and see what they else they might have down at the bottom. Oh, look, they also have one. Okay, so they got some filters here, but all right here, they have oxygen absorber pouches, packets, 300. So we're gonna click that on. Image right down here. And those are the ones I purchased. These are packs of 100 and they're 300 cc's. And these were probably the best oxygen absorbers I've ever tested. And you might wanna record that number for future use. Uh, so you can go ahead and put in what you want, put everything will show up here in your shopping cart. And if I haven't said this once before, because this is a church, it is, it is uh, it's non-profit, if that makes sense. So these prices might be pretty decent compared to what you might find uh, from other sources. But anyway, this is the online store for distribution services for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's kind of a, an offbeat uh, supply, uh, supply source, but they got some good prices and adequate stocks and they're located around the world. So you might want to give them a try and see what happens. But with that said, I'd like to thank you for your time. I hope this has been useful to you. Maybe you can save some money in buying your supplies from a reputable uh, source. And as always, go forth and freeze dry the world. And I will send another video soon. Thank you.